Coming up on today's Nightly News. Crisis hits Spain pays price of joining EU Rich Club. Stop the ITU taking over the internet. EU laws open door to bogus traders. In our legislation section, EU elections, exercise of right to vote and stand as a candidate in elections to the European Parliament. And in our Euroeconomics section, Dr. Eric Edmund writes, EU sidelining on track. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. Crisis hits Spain pays price of joining EU Rich Club. Blighted by recession and tottering on the edge of a sovereign bailout, Spain is about to pay the price of joining the club of richest nations in the European Union. For the first time, Madrid may have to pay more into the bloc than it receives, a dramatic change from 10 years ago when it was the biggest recipient. It's an unfortunate paradox at a time of deep crisis. Spain is ready to accept such a change so long as it is gradual, said a diplomatic source ahead of November 22nd, 23rd European Union summit on the budget for 2014 to 2020. Now, this is the same old formula. Roll in some half-wit wannabe diplomat to spiel the positive rhetoric. But the bottom line is that Spain's broke. Their property markets are in tatters and the political system is fragmenting. And they really expect us to believe they're going to embrace being bled for additional cash by the EU? Links to the full story are below. Stop the ITU taking over the internet. Control of the internet must be stopped from falling into the hands of the International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, the European Parliament has warned. The European Union's elected representatives loudly called for negotiators to block attempts by the ITU to gain ultimate control over the internet at a conference in Dubai next month. Now, I spoke with Jim Killock from the Open Rights Group about four months ago on this topic, and uh, we discussed other uh, subjects as well, ACTA, SOPA, PIPA, all the uh, headlining legislation. And uh, I hope to have him on as a nightly news guest at some point in the future to talk about this. But the bottom line is that the state does not want an open information source outside of its control. We reported about the EU and USA's internet protection agreement mechanisms just last week. And you can expect more of this type of legislation to be on its way. We'll, of course, keep you in the picture via our In the Pipeline section, which you can find via the legislation section of theunit.com. laws open the door to bogus traders. Plans to axe restrictions on door-to-door -door salesmen risk paving the way for bogus traders to prey on the vulnerable, it was claimed yesterday. The removal of a 140-year-old powers that allow councils to refuse street traders applications could also turn high streets into a free-for-all for market stores. Civic chiefs fear it could encourage street vendors to come to Britain from all across Europe. In our legislation section, EU elections, exercise of right to vote and stand as a candidate in elections to the European Parliament. The European elections held in 2004, the sixth in which MEPs were directly elected to the European Parliament, were held in 25 member states, with the number of seats being contested increased to 735. Subsequently, the European Commission sent out a questionnaire inviting member states to provide both statistical and qualitative information in order to ascertain the participation of non-national citizens of the EU in elections. Now, this report is based mainly on the information submitted by the member states in response to the questionnaire, so as to assess the application of the directive. Now, this is the legislation that supports the story that I highlighted yesterday, where Essentially, anyone from anywhere in the EU may stand as a candidate in any of the 27 member states. Which kind of makes a mockery of the idea of local democracy and leaves the door wide open for career politics, corporate manipulation and lobbyist abuse. Links to the full report and supporting materials can be found below. 
Finally, in Dr. Eric Edmonds' Euroeconomics section, Eric writes, EU sidelining on track. At the CBI conference today, our political elite were clearly lining up with the CBI to shunt the EU problem into the sidings and ensure it does not become a serious issue. Lib Lamb Con are much happier to have their stereotyped party fights on health, schools and other such anodyne issues and ignore the EU elephant in the room. Now the CBI are clearly on board for this, just as they were gung-ho for ERM entry, which was a disaster, cost the UK a huge loss of reserves to George Soros, is he a CBI member? And ended in the UK having to leave the ERM and a subsequent election lost by the Tories in 1997. Now this is a cracking and humorous article from Eric and I highly recommend taking a read. As usual, the links are below. Well, that's all from me on the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.